Hi, my name is Amy Jepson. I'm at the Terrell Tour Theatre today doing question time. We have six formers from around the county doing, asking some questions that matter to them. Um, I was saying on the radio this morning that I think things like this are key. We're talking about local democracy. In a year, two years' time, you'll be eligible to vote, many of you. Um, and it's always very difficult when we've just had an election this year, the build-up to the election, you talk to young people and you just sort of say, well, how much do you know about voting? How much do you know about the voting system and how do you get on to that? And I'll remind you again later on that uh, if you're 16 or 17, you can actually at least register to vote when you become 16 or 17. So you can get part of the process rolling already. Due to increasing university fees, how do you intend on providing further education such as pensions? Should voting be compulsory or should rewards be given to encourage increased voting turnout? Where do you think Lincolnshire stands on taking in Syrian refugees currently arriving in Britain? You have to differentiate between refugees, true refugees, and economic migrants. And I think one of the things that the Prime Minister David Cameron has done is the correct thing to do is to say that those 20,000 that we've said we're going to take over the next five years will come from refugee camps in and around the borders of Syria. I don't think the debate about whether you rent or buy, it's all about whether you can afford to live in a decent accommodation as an individual, with your friends, as a family. Um, and I think it's one of the biggest areas facing the whole country. Hope you've enjoyed the afternoon. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. So, Marcella, how well do you think today went? Wonderfully well. Uh, we have fantastic audience participation from the young people with wonderful questions, um, which were elaborated on further by Melvin, who you know drew out more, teased, uh, explored all the issues. All of the panel members had a great opportunity to to join in and give their views. So overall, I think it was very effective, very inclusive, and uh, I hope that young people did gain a lot from it. I'm with a few students from NK to see what they thought about the question time. So, um, what do you think you've gained from the question time? Uh, I think that um, I've learnt or confirmed my suspicion that a lot of young students are interested in politics and they're interested in the way that this uh, country and uh, this parish is run. Uh, I think a lot of key issues were addressed and it's good to see that a lot of young people are taking an, is uh, taking an interest in the issues that we face now and that we will face in the future. How do you think the questionnaire went? Yeah, I think it went very well. Uh, in terms of one of the students from our school, from NK, has just said, oh, that was really good, sir. I learnt a lot this afternoon. And I think that's what it's all about, just getting people to think, getting people to understand that the politics and the democracy is not just boring, and it really does impact on them, whether they are 16, 17, 18, or a little bit older. And it certainly impacts on their future. So very good, very pleased. What are your hopes for this event in the future? Well, I, th I hope it's a regular event. Uh, I think it's very good to, if you like, um, bring youngsters together so they know that there's other people across the area that they live in that have the same views and perhaps are worried about the same subjects as they are. 